I got back into it like eight, seven, eight years ago. Played music for a long time. Played electric bass and studied jazz on piano. Just like a high school education. Went out and just wanted to start working. Get out and start doing, you know, my own thing. I wanted to finish one piece I'd started along, you know, a few years back when I tried to get back into it, but I didn't quite make it. Then when I then the more I thought about it, I wanted to try to bring things that weren't usually the subject matters that most people were to go for. I didn't want to do landscapes, I didn't want to do portraits, I didn't want to do something a little beyond that, a little, a little more abstract. A lot of these things I do is like trying to make intangible tangible, you know, try to capture an emotion or something you can't really visualize easily and try to put it on a two-dimensional surface, which, you know, it's pretty difficult. Uh, this, so you just, if I think about a situation I was in that caused an emotion, or just focused on an emotion, something, or, or an abstract idea, like music or air, or, you know, this stuff, you know, you've heard that all before, but, you know, just to get somebody looking at something in a different perspective. You, know, you could probably see some influences in some of the art that I do. I don't purposely go look at a lot of artists and go to a lot of shows or a lot of galleries because I don't want that to, uh, filter into my, my thought process when I'm doing this stuff. And, and inevitably, it's, it does, right? And it will. Nothing's totally original. When I had some high school training. My teacher, my art teacher back then seemed kind of like disassociated. You can tell at the, the time he was getting burned out on teaching. And you know, and it showed when, when he, the last couple of years he wasn't in class with me. He retired not long after. So that's really all I have, just a little bit of high school training. But even then, I started to see a uh, little flicker of my style coming through even then, and I don't know why I stopped. I should, I should have kept going. So I always wanted to get back to that. And I had a chance, I finally had a chance, thanks to my wife, she finally pushed me back into it, said, here, I got some space for you. Just go do it, do what you think you can do, and if you like it, you'll keep doing it. If you don't, well, a lot of times it's just, I'll just start with like a, just a small freehand, maybe even a thumbnail, size sketch and from there I'll just blow it up into something like that because I, I got sketches all this and they're all like on something smaller than an index card but the process is uh, like I said I'm trying to put intangibles into a form where people would actually see them and that's that's my thought process going on behind everything it's, it's shadowing me as I'm going through all this stuff and just a lot of form, and I try to get the, the, the colors matched up right, and you know, seeing what kind of brush stroking I want to use, which is very deliberate for the most part. But the process, wow, I mean, it's it, some assessment, you know, you know, fermenting in my head for a lot of years. Some of it just is just instant spontaneity, and it just comes up, and it's like, wow, I'm just gonna do this, like the one I'm working on right now, I and mean, it just kind of. It just popped in my head and I wanted to do it. And I try to keep it as simple as possible. I think simplicity is really, it's really hard, you know, um, discipline to master because everybody wants to make more of something than what it is. And you can tell that I do the same thing. And so I try to keep it simple, but it always ends up complicated. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's, it's, this, I guess that's just the process. Start slow, just let it kind of develop a, a voice, a, a, a momentum of its own. Staying focused for the amount of time that it takes to finish these paintings. I can only work two, maybe three days a week, so I gotta try to keep that momentum going, you know, between working on my job, staying home with the family and other obligations. And every time I come here, I have to inspire myself all over again to keep it going from the one spot to the next you know, for lack of a better word, that's the hardest part, just to keep that momentum. It really is difficult. Perseverance, I mean, you just really got to have the, the drive to get through it because it can get really frustrating. It's like, this is just not working out right. And you just, it's like, so you just keep laying pain on sometimes, you know, sometimes it looks overworked and sometimes and that's the point. I don't want to get to that point, but sometimes it just takes you there. But then, then you've, then when you've gone past it, you've broken that barrier. Then, then 
the floodwaters come out. I'm not real good with subtlety. I never have been. So I, 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 want, I, want, I want when things are on the canvas, I'm kind of want to make them try to jump off if I can. The colors, this just, at first I just used, I tried, I, well, when you, when you asked me how I you know, got started, I just tried to use three colors, three primary colors, and try to mix some of my own paints. That, that taught me how to mix color and use color, and then when I brought bringing more, you know, um, colors into my palette, then it was easier to use them. But yeah, I try to make things pop. I, I, want, I want to grab somebody's attention right away. Well, there, yeah, there's, there's some composition, of course. You know, there's, there's always, you know, as an artist, you're always thinking how to keep the eye moving around the canvas. You know, that's one thing I did learn, you know, from high school, you know, the very limited training I did have. But sometimes it's just like, you know, I'm just on a piece of paper, I'm just like doing these swirls and like, you know, you come up with something like that, you know, or something like that. And so I guess, I guess the shapes are more, more what drives me. I, I just like, I like shapes. I was good at geometry when I was in school, so, you know, some of that shows through. I was good at math, was good at geometry, and some of that naturally leaches through to my style. Um, so yeah, I guess that's what drives me more is the shapes. I don't think anybody's style is unique anymore. I really don't. I think it's, it's all, it's all been blended now. Everybody's been so, you know, influenced by so many other people that it's, it's hard to really call it your style. Um, I think the only thing that would uh, call into focus about my style is my uh, deliberate brush stroking. Shape these brush strokes, sometimes it's, it's not something you just like slap on there. It's something you really think about and you have to be very careful with the way you're laying the paint on. And I think that's probably the, the thing that cuts me apart from most is like my just a deliberate brush stroking. So they're very, very clean, very precise brush stroking. They're very layered. It's, it's maddening to put that many brush strokes on a canvas. It, it's, and it's so time consuming. It's, it really is. It's another world I can create, I guess. You know, I mean, I'm, I, you know, I'm in here and I've got my music on, even though it's tapes and CDs and <laughs> outdated modes. And, and it's just, it, it, it gets, it's just another place to be, you know. The world's not the greatest place a lot of times, and, you know, and, and the outside and all the influences and all, all, all the people that want their way, they want, they want to get their, you know, opinions out and they, they want to, they want to influence you and I don't want to be influenced. I don't want their opinions. I want to be in here doing what I want to do. You know, I don't want them whispering in my ear telling me this is what I should be doing, this is what I shouldn't be doing, this is what I want to be doing, so I'm going to keep on doing it. <laughs> Coolest art tip. Wow. I don't, I've never really taken advice very well. <laughs> Hopefully not dead before I get famous. <laughs> Everybody wants recognition for their work, right? And I, hopefully I would receive some, but I'm not actively searching it out. It'll probably be it. Spontaneous, versatile, inventive. Be articulate with, with, with your work. Be poignant when you're telling a story. And tell a story on the canvas if you can do it.